Hello everyone. So in today's video we're talking about the potential new Zenkai that we could see for this upcoming weekly reset. Because as you all know we have got Legends Anniversary starting on this weekend. Depending where you are it's about probably maybe Saturday, Sunday. Depending. But um, yeah we're talking about the potential new Zenkai that we could see this weekly reset. Because I think there is confirmation in the news as a uh, maintenance most likely. Because today's usually the day they usually do it. Um, it's maintenance announcement, so it's only two minutes of power, so it's not a full, you know, a full game one, but, but this is at tomorrow, so the usual time, like I said, for weekly reset, so, I mean, to be honest, this does confirm we will not get a Zenkai Awakening, mainly because if we're going to get one, right, it will usually have, like, tournament power, summons, and shop. Now, the summons, you know, doesn't indicate new unit all the time, it just also indicates new banner. That's why if you know we get a Zenkai, it also shows a summon maintenance as well. So I guess that's good in one way because the main reason why, well, I guess it's good and bad, is whatever the new Zenkai was going to be for, let's say, this weekly reset was going to be the hints anniversary, right? So it's good they're leaving that till probably Saturday, or maybe not Saturday, but the week after. They'll drop the Zenkai for whoever it's going to be. So, like I talked about in the video yesterday, the Zenkai will be in the upcoming um, reveals and stuff. You know, like I said, this will probably go for like half an hour, probably. Anywhere from like 50 minutes, half an hour. Now, another thing I want to quickly mention before I talk about other stuff for anniversary is I've seen a lot of people on, you know, social media read this, right? So, if I have a quick read here, it's got reveals and stuff special ed edition premieres ahead of the 6th anniversary, like we all know. Uh, learn about all the events, campaigns, and that are on the way. Of course, it's going to be new character info as well. Now, where it's got new character info, that does not indicate it's an ultra. Okay? It could, right? I'm not saying it's guaranteed not, but I'm saying that's not a guaranteed ultra at the same time. They've done this before, right? Last year, for example, Goku and Freeze, they said new character. Not new characters, new character. And obviously, we've got Goku and Freezer and what? three other sparkings or two other sparkings and an EX so obviously there's more than one character it's just I, I don't know if it's a translation issue from like J like Japan to English or it's something else I've seen I've seen it translated in other countries as well and they've said it's characters but then we look at the English one it says characters so and also another thing as well even though it's changed to UI Gogi here for the reveals and stuff like thumbnail that doesn't indicate anything as well right We've had Gogeta Blue on there for how many months? And that hasn't meant every video had Gogeta Blue in it, so... I wouldn't look at that and go, Oh no, we're going to get MUI Goku again, or something like that. Or UI Goku. It's not the case. It could. It could be hinting, technically. But at the same time, like I said, we've had Gogeta Blue on there for several months. So, I don't think there's anything else here that sort of hints as what to come. So, I don't think I can pull it up. But we have got little... Um, Little promo any like images, which I might have to quickly pull up on Twitter just quickly show what I mean. So you got these images here, right? I mean, obviously there's only the four days one, but these images, well, you will see yet again. They're not hinting at anything. It's just showing the anniversary countdown. So next, like this one will be like well tomorrow's one's gonna be um, I don't know maybe Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't think we've had that yet. So it's just different characters, some anniversaries, just sort of building up the hype, sort of thing. But I think that's pretty much it for anniversary news sort of thing. Like I said, as you can see here, there won't be any, you know, no Zenkai's this week, they reset. But we will see one announced in the reviews and stuff on the weekend. Uh, update announcement as well. I don't think this is anything big. I think this just fixes... Yeah, this is just fixing some stuff. So, yeah, pretty short video. I mean, I did sort of expect this to be short, but I did also think we could potentially see a Zenkai this week. Even if it was free to play unit, I'd be happy with, but even though this maintenance here is technically tournament about only, that doesn't mean we're going to get, like, we could very well get, like, a mini data download, and it's going to have not quite anniversary units, but, like, little promo images of, like, certain events, potentially. Like, for example, because if we're looking at the events right now, it's pretty dead, I'd say. But if I had to guess, we're probably going to get, uh, obviously, a new Zenkai Rush battle here. But we're probably going to get the, the extra one as well, of extra stages. i got to quickly do this part tonight before I forget. 
But um, yeah, we could see that as well. Maybe the light version as well. Yet again, I'm not too sure if we're going to wait till Anniversary starts to bring their missions out, um, these events out, or if we're going to do it now. Because if they brought like, the Zenkai one out now, for example, this like tomorrow, it wouldn't matter too much. It's not ending towards anything, it's just as, like, just a free play event. So, yeah, that's pretty good for today's video, guys. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions or anything, or comments or that, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you as I win the next one.